Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There was a magnitude 4.7 earthquake near the British Virgin Islands. USGS has downgraded this earthquake to a magnitude 4.4. I had refreshed the page to see how many people had reported feeling it and then it came in as a 4.4. .4. On EMSC, the European website, hey, I have not refreshed that page and here you can still see it's a 4.7. 46 kilometers in depth so that's about 28 miles in depth uh, where we have subduction with the Atlantic Ocean, the North American plate with the uh, Caribbean. USGS has it as 19 kilometers in depth. So that would be 11.8 miles in depth. Now with the moment tensor ball, you can see that the initial first wave of the earthquake came from the direction of the Caribbean down south. Tension was applied straight up and the fault line moved Oh, towards the east a little bit. Manual done by the scientists. You can see they downgraded it, but down here we got it as a magnitude 5.19. The farther the monitors are away from the center where the earthquake occurred, the smaller the earthquakes would register. USGS is not giving us any of the readings that are automatic by the computer, only those reviewed by the scientists. You may have noticed using Google Earth the different colors of the water. This is because of the salinity, the salt in the water. Um, salt water, ocean water, um, is heavier than water that has come from, you know, fresh sources, rivers, streams, etc. An example, you can look at closer to the islands. There's another really good example of where the Atlantic Ocean doesn't mix very well with different waters would be the Bahamas, Nassau. There's an area here called the Glass Window Bridge. It used to be a rock formation that collapsed and then they um, built a, a road over the area where it collapsed. Ocean water is much more denser than fresh water. So unless you have a, a storm such as a hurricane, whatever, yeah, it doesn't mix very well. It's been a while since there's been anything significant there by the British Virgin Islands. Um, there was a 4.9 in November of 2018. Up here we got the Puerto Rican Trench. Over here we got Puerto Rico. Um, a few days ago, let's see, that was November 29th. There was a magnitude 4.8. And then on August 24th, there was a 6.0. This whole area is being pushed down. There's a lot of magnetic anomalies because it's being kind of crushed, I guess you can say, from the North American plate, the Atlantic plate, and um, the South American um, plate moving up, converging all on this area. The deepest trough is the... Uh, um, Cayman Islands trough that's between Jamaica and the Cayman Islands and this is the area where they had that large earthquake in the 1700s and the Dominican Republic has had three tsunamis uh, dating back to the 1800s most of the populations build along the shorelines of the different islands because the interior is all volcanic um, a little tough to build on um, and you know to make roads and things like that so if there is a large tsunami yeah the devastation would be tremendous and those of you that have followed me uh, know about how these areas can just turn to quicksand um, yeah it'd just be horrible just another sign that earthquakes are increasing around the world if you have any thoughts or comments or questions please put it down below Thank you for watching. Thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Please stay safe. God bless you. And I'll talk to you later.